Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Omar and in today's video, I'll be uh, taking you guys through one of the career episodes that I wrote um, when I filed my migration skills assessment application with Engineers Australia. Uh, so I thought, why not I share that uh, experience with you guys so that you would learn from it and you would know what's the format and what's the rules and regulation that you should be following while, while drafting your career episode. And one more thing guys, I have already made one very detailed video on the topic of CDR. Make sure you watch that video. It would just help you clear your concepts and it's going to be very handy for you if you are, are absolutely new to this. And uh, also, I would like to add one more thing guys. Whatever you are going to see on your screens uh, within the next few minutes, uh, that's it. that career episode is entirely my work and I have already submitted it to Engineers Australia. Uh, and I have already been assessed successfully as a uh, professional telecommunication network engineer and uh, make sure you are not copying it because if you do trust me all you're gonna uh, be uh, getting in the outcome letter of yours it will be a refusal and once your application will be refused you will also be notified to Department of Home Affairs meaning you won't be getting any visa in the future therefore do not copy this video is strictly being made to just educate you guys how career episode is written let's go guys so on your screens uh, you will see that I have uh, got my career episode first thing first guys just notice right here c.e 3.1 so from c.e I meant career episode and three means this is my third career episode and dot one means that's it is first heading which is introduction now in, in introduction the word limitation uh, is uh, as per the MSA booklet is approximately or approximately 150 words so as you guys can see um, on my on the screen so in my introduction I took 102 words so in 102 words I included all the information uh, that uh, um, I should be writing in the introduction so make sure you guys have clearly mentioned the time when the, the duration when you did this project uh, the location uh, and the, uh, the location and the name of the organization um, under which this project was done so make sure you are uh, writing this information in your introduction that is absolutely necessary so looking at my introduction it's pretty simple uh, all I have done is just uh, made some sort of introductory marks, remarks on my project I have clearly mentioned the duration the location and the name of the organization and that's what you should be doing as well coming forward guys this is the second heading background so for the background uh, the word limitation as per the MSA booklet is 200 to 500 words and uh, if you look at uh, my background so how much how many words I wrote so that's 336 words but if you exclude some sort of headings that might be in your background so that's roughly 100 and 320 words so that's pretty good uh, because I'm in the um, window that has been given by Engineers Australia uh, in, the, in the MSA booklet so in the background what you should be writing guys make sure you are writing all the important information that includes the aims and objectives of your project the nature of your work and also if uh, that's a teamwork uh, which you are using pro that project if it's a teamwork make sure you have uh, you are also including an organizational chart uh, and you are clearly stating your position uh, in there so also state your position and also your responsibilities as well and the nature of your work so all that sort of information will go in the background also you should write down the nature of your projects like in my case my project was radio frequency energy harvesting device so basically what I was doing was catching radio frequency signals available in the atmosphere and I, what I was doing was just using those radio, radio frequency signals to charge my mobile so it was basically a wireless mobile charger so that sort of information does not matter if you're a civil engineer chemical engineer uh, or a, a chemical mechanical engineer just uh, give a brief nature uh, of your project in the background Right here guys, uh, that's the, uh, so in that bit right here is all the nature of the project, what I have written. And underneath that, that's the, uh, that's the aim of my project right here, as you can see, the highlighted bit. And going further, right here is the objective, not objective, actually the objectives of my project. 
underneath there right here you can see that's the block diagram you can uh, uh, make block diagram for your project as well that will look pretty good so there's antenna that's a matching network to match the impedance of input that's about input impedance to the output impedance then rf to dc conversion because radio frequency signals are analog signals so we have to convert them into dc signals to charge your mobile so at the end there is a low pass filter to make your um, voltage supply ripple free and at the end is a battery so that it's very uh, you must be seeing that a very um, i have uh, uh, chosen very self explanatory words here and at the end i have clearly stated my position so this is an individual project so i have clearly stated that it's an individual project and uh, i was just following the tasks that were assigned by my supervisor in a weekly meeting so right right you guys moving forward next bit is the most important part of your cdr because that's where you um, uh, are going to uh, explain how you implemented your engineering knowledge and also if there was some sort of problem in your project um, how did you actually um, remove or manage that problem if you designed some sort of work certainly include that if you included some sort of techniques in your project certainly mention those techniques uh, because that's what the assessor wants to see from you. He wants to see the engineering techniques and concepts and methods uh, that you implemented in your project. So clearly mention uh, uh, those uh, sort of uh, in, uh, information in the uh, engineering activity. Now I'll just go through how many words I took to write my uh, uh, personal engineering activity. So as per the MSC booklet, uh, your uh, the, uh, personal uh, engineering activity uh, should be between 600 to 1500 words so let's see how much words I wrote right here so all right let's see so that's 1134 words so I wrote 1134 words so I was well within the limit so that's a good thing uh, I included all the charts and I also included all you see right here uh, you can see the, uh, the size of the circuit is very small uh, that is actually one of my aims as well as I have mentioned in the background and right here you can see it's a, a picture from uh, AWR microwave office that's a software and right here are the simulation results so similarly uh, you can include that sort of information as well just make sure you're not adding too much technical information just don't get too much in detail certainly touch every bit of information that you were involved in but just don't go uh, in uh, too much detail right so because assessor wants to see um, what sort of techniques you implemented uh, and uh, what sort of knowledge and what sort of uh, techniques that you used helped your team to overcome any sort of problem so make sure you are including that sort of information in the personal engineering activity so guys that's the personal engineering activity now we will move on to the last part of the career episode and probably the most easiest uh, part which is summary so for the summary guys the word limitation is uh, roughly 50 to 150 words so in my case uh, we can see so that's 77 words so i was well within the limit uh, now in the summary uh, you should include your experience how you felt um, when you were doing this project and um, uh, how you uh, guys literally performed in the project were you able to achieve all the goals and deadlines that were set um, uh, by your supervisor or your team leader and all that sort of information will go in the summary and uh, certainly you should include um, what was the learning curve like what did you learn when you were part of this uh, project and one more thing guys in the personal engineering activity certainly mention how you felt uh, being part of uh, a project where there uh, it was a team environment so if it was a team um, teamwork how you felt um, while working in a team so certainly do, do make sure you are adding four to five sentences in the personal engineering activity as well I did my uh, CDR myself I wrote all the projects that I were all mine uh, all of the work was mine similarly uh, all the your career episode should be based on your work you should not copy from anywhere 
uh, once again I'll just mention that the sole purpose of making this video was to just educate you guys how a career episode is written there is a, there it is guys uh, in the future uh, videos I will certainly be making uh, on the, how CPD is written and I'll try to make a video on the summary statement as well so stay tuned uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys I hope you learned a lot watching this video uh, so once again thank you and I'll see you in the next video cheers bye bye